Melody. Please. Greetings and welcome to Snarky Wizard, I am Cyan, and today we're gonna talk about Hunters, an original series by Amazon. Hunters is an American drama, fiction and fantasy web television series created by David Whale. It is inspired by a number of real Nazi hunters through decades, but it is not meant to be a specific representation of any of them. So let's hit the road and marcha. The plot. A man named Biff hosts a barbecue, but one of the guests saw him and recognized him as a Nazi called the Butcher. In order to stop the woman accusations and preserve his cover, Biff grabs a gun and proceeds to shoot everyone in the vicinity, including his family, revealing with this atrocious act that we take it after the World War II. Nazis are living among us, especially in the first war potency, America. Almost at the same time, Jonah's grandmother, Ruth, an Holocaust survivor, is murdered in front of him, and there he discovers that the Nazis had taken advantage of their deals post-war, and that they had planned to create a full ride. Jonah's grandmother knew about this plan, and was part of a band of Nazi hunters that don't hesitate to ignore the law in order to kill the Nazis among us. Jonah joins the group combining his unique skills and heart with those of a tactic expert and a spy, a soldier, a master in disguise, two weapons experts, and the cryptic millionaire mayor, a man that fell in love with Ruth when he saw her in the concentration camp. When the pieces of a chess game are real, everyone faces a series of difficult consequences, whichever move they make. Warning, spoilers ahead, the good, exceptional acting, great story, fast-paced, and highly entertaining. In my youth, I was lucky enough to talk with a camp survivor, and I believe it's important to tell the story of the latent cruelty of what we are capable when we fail to appreciate the humanity of others. So any story that brings this uncomfortable truth to light is welcome by me, and I'm sure it's welcome by many. Probably many will hate the crazy combo of general style time jumps, and context chips, since you can come across of a musical routine, a Tarantino kind of construction, a comic visual style, drama, comedy, a recreation of old shows like Charlie Angels with a documentary narration, all of that seasoned with a tragic historic event. Yes, this is a chimera, but for me, it, it works. And blah blah blah, it romanticizes violence, but but it is part of the plot and it's a good thing here so stop criticizing this. I also enjoy Travis' dialogues, they were creepy, eloquent and funny. The bad. The show takes too many liberties with the historical events, making it offensive for historians and the experts in the Holocaust. And I get it, I do, but as I previously said, it's important to show the Latin cruelty inside of all of us and also remember the atrocities committed in the past to try to prevent them in the present and in the near future. And if sometimes we need to sacrifice the currency to make the new generation get involved and research more about about our mixed capability for good and evil, and in history in general, so be it, I can deal with it. And I know you will ask why. Why? Well, simple. Because here and now we can encounter similar atrocities around the world, and even concentration camps. Just google it. You will be shocked with our short memories and the importance of reteach these lessons. Well, I'm not you, but of course I couldn't stop myself to check some of their opinions about the show, and maybe the most crazy and easily avoidable mistake that they commit was the wrong use of Hebrew and Yiddish. For example, it is unlikely that Ruth, Jonah's grandmother, who was an Austrian survivor from Germany, would go by Safta, which is the Hebrew word for grandma. While German Jews did known biblical Hebrew, it is like that they would 
should have either spoken German or Yiddish and not Hebrew at home. Meaning is far more likely. We will go by Boa, that is in Yiddish, or Oma, that is in German. But whom Amazon could ask? Yusa is not one of the most important regions with Jewish populations. Oh wait, it is. Check this data. So a very avoidable mistake here. The ugly and conclusion. Not enough character development. The series used flashback and individual time to try desperately to enrich all the characters in the show, but it failed miserably. For example, they'll tell you that Roxy joined because the bay, but then you discover that she and his ex-partner or partner are activists or crusaders for Afro-American rights, and instead of go deeper into that part to try to raise her kind of poor justification to join the group, they don't. And it's crazy because it's so visible that she's not there only for the money. She risks her neck as much as the others, and that frustrating thing happened with almost all the characters. Let me give you another example. The actor, the master of this guy. He's you, okay? But he hates his dad and in a way he's colder but he wants to change the world but they never told you more than a couple of sentences between him and sister Harriet about the sick of this character and then we have Travis who became involved with up Nancy's head but his parents never appear to have been irresponsible or abusive toward him or even xenophobic so why did he become a xenophobic person so freaking frustrating uh, I really hope that they fix this because you can explore too much about this character and stop portraying them like a cliche they're very interesting why don't give us more about them in conclusion this show is not an absolute must see but it deserves a try it is full with dark humor violence and is provocative as Hades to add to the treatment of the holocaust well that was my wizard snacky take don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button join us and became Geek Paladines. Adios. It's not a dish.